So, before we talk about IFL stuff and things like that, you see, we have some CIF updates. We have a bunch of them. We have a bunch of things you know, going on. And I'll talk about, you know, what the big IFL thing is on Thursday. That's going to be, you know, very interesting. But today, 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 um, the West Texas Warbirds, they have released an independent schedule. And we know, you know, two of these teams, and then one has potentially come back to the dead. How true that is, is remains to be seen. And then there's something else that happens but you know taking a look at that West Texas Warbirds independent schedule that starts in June you know they're playing a game against the Amarillo Venom that is for certain and the Arlington Longhorns who probably should be in the league at this point because I mean they the Longhorns always play somebody in the CIF in exhibition games and then and then and then and then the damn San Antonio Valor Oh, dear Lord in heaven, how in the world did the Valor even have anything to do with this? How in the world did West Texas get a home game with the Valor, who have had no social media posts since February, have had nothing on Instagram, went to their website and everything, have nothing on Instagram, have nothing really on Facebook aside from the one post that says that, hey, we're coming back, quotations. And nothing on Twitter, nothing anywhere. And then you have the Texas Jets, which is, I don't know what that is. I don't know who those guys are, but there is some dude that's whining on Facebook about it, you know, saying that there could be, you know, a lawsuit because of the use of their logo for some reason. I, 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 I really don't know. I didn't see the comment when I looked at the actual post about you know West Texas you know having home games and stuff like that. so but but we but the homies in the Discord do have it and you know this guy is going on a tirade it's a long post but basically the gist of it is you know he's trying to you know he says he owns the logo to the Texas Jets. Again, I don't know what the Texas Jets are. Apparently, they're like some semi-pro outdoor team or something like that. Something something stupid that shouldn't exist. Uh, he has the rights to the logo and stuff like that. Now he wants to put the lawsuit on West Texas. Which, I mean, it's kind of a fruitless deal anyway. Because why would you do that? I mean, ain't nobody to be made in this operation. Well, there's no point. There's no point. Ain't no money to be made in this operation. There's no point in doing this, bruh. There is no point. A copy, it is a copyrighted logo without the use of his permission specifically. Wow. Wow. Big wow. Like, how do you, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. They agreed to schedule the game, and yet you can't use, the, what, I, don't, I don't get it. Whatever. Whatever, and there's also playoffs. There's also playoffs for some reason in July, and the championship game. What rings? There is no rings. I don't get this. I don't get this. What is this going to be? Is this going to be the COVID league of last year? Because I hated it. I talked about that last year. I hated every second of that. And you know, trying to you know get something in for indoor football last summer was a pain in the ass let me tell you that you know a couple of the fact that I got I got real sick you know almost almost kicked the bucket you know and you know last summer was just terrible there's also some other things as well we have you know expansion teams potentially confirmed for the CIS so we know West Texas and Amarillo are probably going to come back because they're operating Amarillo has you know, had some social media posts and stuff like that since, you know, they said they were going to opt out. You know, West Texas obviously is coming back because of, you know, the schedule being, yeah. But there are potentially at least two or three new expansion teams. One in Rapid City, one in Billings, and one somewhere else. I forgot where it was. But that's going to be in the Montana, Wyoming area, you know. So that's going to be interesting to see because... 
they're heading back up into IFL territory, you know, South Dakota and, you know, Dakota, Montana, you know, that, that IFL Midwest territory head back up there. And they're making a place for themselves now. They're making a place for themselves, the CIF is. So it's going to be another war in the Midwest. You know, I get the IFL's trying to do East Coast stuff now with the whole Columbus and Massachusetts and Louisville thing. But, you know, that battle for the Midwest is still going to be key. You know, it's still going to be key right now. And, you know, you know obviously the IFL's got a nice southwest footprint and the midwest as well too but I think you know I think the CIF you know can take the planes you know pretty easily <sighs> so stuff like that because I mean they got a lot of teams they got three teams in Kansas right now oh, of course Oklahoma the Oklahoma Flying Aces they could potentially come back who knows but I mean the workers comp was too rough for them but yeah, uh, I don't have anything else to say about this whole situation. This is a CIF update. This is, this is going to be a general indoor football up. Well, not a general indoor football update. Uh, just a CIF update. And if you are watching the CIF and you're having fun with it, that is great. You know, I am not really interested in the say uh, CIF. I watched the championship game for damn sure, but uh, watching the first couple weeks has been kind of rough to me honestly so I can't wait for the IFL to start on Friday and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be very fun I can guarantee you that but we'll talk about that tomorrow see you guys tomorrow have a good day